Now, we do have a During this third wave, doctors have no time to slow down. I'm sorry, I got to take this one call. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Okay, it's okay. Hello. But this emergency room physician found a few minutes to describe what he sees on the inside. I think the most difficult thing is coming to grips with the fact that we're having younger people who are very sick. A lot of them are requiring ICU, but there's no ICU space. Today, hospitalizations dropped below 2,000 for the first time in two weeks. But Ontario ICU admissions hit a record high this weekend, rising to 900. Health officials had warned it would be a breaking point, bringing hard decisions about who gets life-saving care. The triage tool is not in place. We're working as hard as humanly possible, our clinicians and the staff in hospitals, to uh, make sure that it uh, never comes into effect. But uh, I can't uh, say uh, with uh, complete confidence that it will never happen. For weeks now, extraordinary measures have been taken to relieve pressure, delaying tens of thousands of surgeries, putting adults into pediatric wards, building field hospitals, accepting help from the armed forces, and transferring a record high number of patients. But now a new concern. A critical link in those patient transfers, orange paramedics are prepared to go on strike. During the third wave, we have countless members working more than 60 hours a week to prevent Ontario's ICUs from collapse. They're protesting provincial legislation that caps public sector wage increases to 1% a year. They have to give notice before they can strike. Striking for us is the absolute last consideration. Even though the triage model hasn't been activated in Ontario, doctors have already received the training. We've heard about this for a few months and I always thought there's no way that we'll get to that, but we Sometimes we, it feels like we're days from it or weeks from it at least. It, it some days feel like that that can actually happen. And that possibility, he says, weighs on him. Yeah, yeah. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.